Hey buddies, it's your girl at Christina and today you guys suggested that I check out a Jaden Animations video. This is, and this is from a while back, this is one of the old school videos. This is why I love slash hate reality TV. I want to see what, because I do have a, actually I don't really hate reality TV. I have a love and like meh relationship with reality TV. There's not a lot of love and there's not a lot of meh. It's just really split down the middle. You know, it's fun. It's very entertaining. But I don't think I hate it. I don't think I hate it. Mm, no, you know what? There are a couple shows that I like. Okay, I don't hate American Pickers, but I can't watch American Pickers forever. Okay, I can only watch a few episodes. And then the Fast and Loud. I don't hate Fast and Loud. Again, I do not hate it. But I can only watch one episode in a month. That's 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 it for that. I think that's my, my list of the ones I could not watch, you know, or do without. But uh, yeah, let me know about you. What are your feels? Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. I grew up only wanting to watch cartoons for the most part. I never okay. tried to drift into other shows or I watched movies a lot of, with real people. Yeah, I watched actors. a lot of Normally live Normally if something stuff. had actual humans in it, my seven-year-old self would be like, real people, no thanks, Borville. <laughs> I don't want to watch anything unless there's mutant super children who are birthed from a crock pot. Girls. I like to believe I'm a really open-minded person now. I don't just blow things off like that. Okay. I generally don't feel like I have the right to judge or have a strong opinion on anything unless I've researched and tried to understand every aspect of it first. I agree. That way I can use all the facts to come to my overall standpoint. Mm -hmm. It's easy to hear just one detail about something right. and jump to a conclusion. And people then form opinions based on their personal are... values and Beliefs, Gone, but just only like that. knowing certain details can change things Lost instantly. in their mindset. Here's an example. Judy saw Ron push her dog. Oh dear. Wow, what the heck? Ron, some rotten dog hater. That looked pretty Ron, angry. Dude. Now hold on a sec. It's easy to believe that, but mm -hmm. actually, Ron pushed Judy's dog because the dog attacked his child and Ron was only had to get kid. Uh, Whoa, he's lucky really? that's all he Judy did. Judy to put her dog down. It's a hazard to everyone around it. Dear. Attacking kids and crap. I can't believe she'd be okay with owning a rabid dog. Mm. She probably didn't Take care of it. Judy's Goodness. a horrible dog owner. Gosh! Oh, okay, okay. That was a lot. Untamed dogs that was a are lot. a safety problem for sure, mm -hmm. especially around children. But you didn't realize the dog only attacked Ron's child mm -hmm. because they were teasing the dog with an ice cream cone mm -hmm. and the dog just jumped up onto him wanting a taste. Dear. Well, then it's the dumb kid's fault right. for it. I'll cut off the story here because I could. <laughs> okay, the guy did kind of go in on, on Susie or the chick. I don't think like oh it's like oh she's she just tamed her dog all sort of stuff that he he did go in he went a little bit in he didn't need to go in I do however agree that the kid should not have been teasing the dog with some ice cream that you ain't gonna give him the dog attacked you that the dog there's no fault on the dog whatsoever it's the child I blame the child could add so many more layers to it. Mm -hmm. But you see how quickly your views can change if you don't know all the true. details to something? Very true. But every new Very point, true. the resulting opinion wasn't necessarily she was about Donner. wrong Her name was Judy, or incorrect. Not Susie. Although I made them extreme for emphasis. Mm -hmm. Because you were forming a standpoint based on the only information you had. But yeah, I that's my tip for the day. I Look more into things Get and all do the information. research before you make a super strong opinion on something. Mm -hmm. This whole video got way off track real quick. <laughs> I'm going to go funny. back to talking about what I was going to talk about in the first place. Okay. So TV. Mm -hmm. Once I got older, I still mainly only watch cartoons but i've developed an extreme love for documentaries okay. you don't even realize you can be okay. interested in something you never even realize I you didn't care about until you watch a documentary about it yeah. like one time my best friend kate and i sat down and watched one about the voice and puppet actor behind elmo oh really it was mesmerizing totally really? random you'd never even think about wanting to i didn't know they had like one that, for elmo unless it's like 4 a.m and you're in that weird fever dream phase oh. i think it's funny when documentaries go all cinematic with their shots yes like when the main guy's do. walking looking off into the distance they do. on a journey one man versus is the world they People do never understand them it's <laughs> not a phase i'll show do. them all because i can only it's imagine funny. how awkward or they over dramatize things First, the cameraman too. has to walk like a quarter mile away <laughs> while the main guy just waits there or vice versa <gasps> next he has to signal he's ready for the guy yeah, to start walking maybe so there's true. cell phone maybe walkie talkie <laughs> i think it's more funny to imagine he just screams at the top of his lungs and freaks out the civilians that around him so then the true. guy starts walking looking at the scenery around okay we're getting the shot and like he isn't being filmed start walking 1300 Action. feet away for his documentary that's gonna change the world <laughs> by the way i don't know how anyone so can funny. walk normally when they tell themselves to once you tell yourself do something normally you pretty much just increase Smiling. the chances of screwing 
I up by ninety percent. Mm-hmm. One time I was walking across the bottom of some bleachers and I told myself, "There's a lot of people I'm in plain view Don't of trip. right now. Don't make a scene. Right. Just walk normally. Mm-hmm. They aren't paying attention to you. Right. They're just some random person." Right. And I tripped over a trash can. <laughs> anyway, there's probably other more efficient ways to get the shots. I'm not some documentary so camera funny. director, but it's, it's still as like, inspirational. No, it's and- so freaking true. Like I've had in high school, especially when you're trying to walk. And it's like a path game or something like that. And you're trying to walk across to get to where you got to sit. And it's like, okay, walk normally. Don't walk. And then it, it's the hardest walk. Is that hard for anybody else? I've been there where it's like a really hard walk to just put your feet like you normally would. Or like kind of. But I trip a lot. Like I really do trip a lot. So when she said that, I'm just like, I remember distinctly trying to like, Okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I walk here? I need I need to get over there. I don't want to fall. And it just becomes this over like analyzed situation and my body feels weird walking across. It's so true. And more it's amazing weird. when you think about taking away the music and voiceovers to imagine what it was really like to just get the base footage. Same right. with reality TV shows. That's Kate so told true. her sister was accepted onto a singing show once. Oh, that's I don't want to get cool. into possible legal trouble by saying which one that because is they cool. had to sign contracts and stuff. Yeah, but true, she true. said that when they were filming their parents to portray the, oh, we're so proud of her for following her dreams mm-hmm. kind of clip. They had Kate and her brother in the background to make it look all casual. They told okay. them to just look like you're talking to each other while yeah, we film the Yeah, it's, it's a set up shot. So we can talk about anything and no one would know. Right. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. I'm not big on most reality TV that's shows so because as real as they might be, some are completely set up, some aren't. They're all yeah, dramatically enhanced to some degree. And there's a point yes. where you start I didn't noticing, know that at time. And it's I, hard to take anything seriously right? after that. Yes. What I find the most amusing are the sound effects and how crazy they are. I've been obsessed with watching Gordon Ramsay's sound, Kitchen sound Nightmares sound show, sound so I'm going to use those as examples because I've okay. watched so many. Why are you so stubborn? I'm not stubborn. <laughs> no one's striving to be better. <laughs> they added that? They do be you adding that. Tell me the... how you feel about the frozen food. I hate it. <laughs> this is hilarious. They do this ish on HGTV, especially when it's like, okay, somebody's fixing up a home for this client or this person. And then there's like all these sounds until they show the house. And then it's just like this buildup of intensity and like, then they do do the bong or like a, like a sound. And then when the person's happy, it's like, it's like a, a, a calming sound. They do that. I didn't even recognize that. Like, I didn't pay attention to the sounds. Huh? Made yesterday? It was actually made three weeks ago. What? That was quick. Okay. Thank you, my darling. Enjoy. Thank you. What? Jesus. Octopus salad. Okay. But did this guy. What is Natural with white Natural. cheddar. Oh, this is the award winning. Yeah. Oh, dear. Great. And why is the fillet butterfly like that? Right. And cut like that? It looks kind of good. Cuts it up and then pounds it thin. It kind of looks good, though. He beats the crap out of the fillet to tenderize it when it's the most stunning cut. Wow. <laughs> I love Ooh. the extra so things she added to this. <laughs> doesn't look too appetizing. It doesn't look appetizing at all. What though. is that? What, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Did you catch that one? Does that sound familiar? Yes. It's a <laughs> like a recorder. Kitchen Nightmares uses That's the funny. same sound effect of some kid butchering the recorder as the pigeon documentary I talked about in my thesaurus video. That is, is funny. Some, like YouTube music library, but for documentaries you know what? we I... don't know about? Hey, Epidemic Craig, sound. What's the sound effect you used 43 minutes, 8 it's seconds into your Rubber Ducks documentary? <laughs> oh, it's Maracas underscore 05. Oh, funny. thanks. I yeah, I tried Maracas underscore library. 02, but it didn't have the exact effect I was going for. That's In the UK, funny. they don't use nearly the amount of dramatic sounds American they don't. shows use. They don't. Just look at this old clip from the UK version of A Kitchen Nightmares. Does this make you feel better shouting in front of the blue? I'm here? not shouting in front of anybody. Is that you have to show off? I'm... How bloody oh! Don't be stupid. Oh. Don't be so stupid. I'm... No over the top dramatic oh, oh, crap. Oh my god! It's almost here. Hold on, here, no, bro. Oh my! Like, listen, I don't, I don't watch anything with Gordon Ramsay, and except for like, I watched Hot Ones, which I liked Hot Ones, um, 
and watch him cook an egg on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I think I started to watch a YouTube video because I, I think he has a channel where he was on a YouTube video. I can't really remember what it was, but I stopped for whatever reason. But I know that he's been known to be like the Simon Cowell of cooking, except for like meaner, like way meaner. So I want to know, like, I want to find this episode and I want to watch it to get all sides. Who was in the wrong there? Did he get off the cuff where this chick was like, okay, I got to slap you because of the stuff that you've been saying? Or is this chick just that off the cuff already where she's just ready to pop off for whatever reason? I want to know. I want to know. Because, man, hold on, we got to take that back. Of a kitchen nightmares. Does this make you feel better shouting in front of the blue? I'm not shouting in front of anybody. Oh, it's Hell's sure. Kitchen. I'm how bloody. Oh, yeah. Don't be stupid. Don't be so stupid. I'm the fact yeah. that he's so calm, no, over clearly the she's not the only one to crap? try to slap him. It's almost pure. It was here. Pure. I'll fix it American style. Okay. <laughs> By adding all this. <laughs> Putting everything Putting aside here, I freaking stuff. really love all of Gordon Ramsay's shows. Oh, I really? have a problem. I've watched like all of the Kitchen Nightmares. Okay. I love Master Chef. Okay. I love Kel's Kitchen. I, I do want to watch Hell, Junior seen, like, Master Chef. I haven't watched Gordon Behind Bars yet, but I still love That's it. I've never had the thing? answer to this before, but if someone came up and asked me, mm -hmm. "Who's your favorite celebrity?" I think I'd have to say. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, because you watch it, all the shows. Considering he's a chef and I don't eat the standard American diet. But he's a really great person from what I've gathered. Oh, really? Someone might think, I should oh, he's check just a big jerk who yells at people. No, you've got to look deeper than that. Okay. Where's your character analysis? All right, let's he's do it. He's a genuinely great guy. All right. He's passionate and takes pride in what he does. Okay. He's not cocky or arrogant. He's always willing to learn more. Always striving for improvement. how this turned into me talking about how great Gordon Ramsay is. I don't Gordon, know. Gordon, you're welcome for sticking up for you. Even though you can obviously handle it yourself. He does. Anyway, he, I think I've he gotten can off track himself. enough in this video. If you're ever That's bored, funny. I recommend just binging the whole Kitchen Nightmares <laughs> YouTube channel. They've got like one oh, they of have the a YouTube channel. Comment section communities on okay. the entire YouTube platform. Shout out to Kitchen Nightmares okay. and Gordon Ramsay. I gotta if check you ever it out. See this? I love all your stuff, and you're considered my favorite celebrity. That's I pretty guess, cool. Now. <laughs> I don't know. That's you know, funny. I've never given shout outs or anything like this before, mm -hmm. and it's a bit funny. The first one I'm doing out of all the people is to Kitchen and nightmares and Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> How about when it's like yeah, terrifying? Let's end the video with a shout out from the comment section. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. This person said to give a shout out to me. Oh. All right. Big old shout out to me, everyone. <laughs> okay. No more shout outs. So don't ask me. Bye. Just that so is I know no. That is funny. hilarious. I, the thing, the thing I love about watching her videos is how. It's that relatability, right? It's one of the reasons that I love storytime animations because of that shared experience. It's your opportunity to connect with somebody. You hear their story, you learn about them. And then I always find, like with her and with Odd Ones Out, um, not to exclude others, but with the, their examples, because they are big, big ones that I, you know, that we react to on the channel a lot. And, um, there's just a lot of relatability. There's a lot of like, I'm like, oh my goodness, that, uh, that's me, or that's me, or this is me, or this is me. And it's just, it's a constant. So it's just hilarious, especially the walking thing. The thing that's more funny for me is it's stuff that I didn't real, uh, like I know that I do them, but they're not present in my mind of, oh, I always do this stuff, or I always do that stuff. It's when they say it, and then I'm like, holy crap, I do that. <laughs> It's like this realization, like, oh, I do that. That is what I do. That's what I think when I do it. It's just, I love it. I love how it kind of comes full circle and um, because it becomes a fun thing. I, I, I agree with the point of trying to get both sides of something before you fully get a judgment. And with that, I will kind of just say really quick, a lot of people were telling me to react to Dan's side of the Dan plan thing. His video is like 50 minutes long. I do want to do like... I'm gonna watch the video and like I'm not gonna do like a 50 minute react video that's definitely not happening but I am gonna watch the video and make a video on it because I do want to make sure it's balanced we heard Steven's side we're gonna talk about Dan's side um, and interact with his side as much as we can I'm just not gonna do a 50 minute react on the channel um, but I do want to make sure that we have both sides on the channel and then people make fair 
uh, assessments on how they feel about either of these parties or the situation in full. And that's one of the things I did make sure I said in Steven's react video, or when I reacted to Steven's video, was that we gotta get the full story. Like, I am withholding complete judgment. I said, if, if, if Dan was acting this way, then that sucks. But I do wanna get the full story. And it's very important. It's very important to get the full story. Um, but with what she was talking about, I like uh, HGTV, I think, was the most um, active rea uh, 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 reality TV shows or set of, or channel that I've seen because. I go to doctor's appointments, they play HGTV. You go to, you get jury duty, they were playing HGTV. HGTV is like the default channel that I feel like a lot of places that have a TV inside, for whatever reason, that's what it's on. I think the only things are bars and steakhouses have it on sports and regular TV, but a lot of, everybody else has it on HGTV. And so I end up watching a lot of HGTV uh, and it's, it's, it can be addictive. I've, me and my husband have literally binged a lot of HGTV because it's, it's so addictive. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it is. And the sounds, I do agree, they do make those sounds on HGTV as well, and they drop, like, excitement, and then sometimes it's like, okay, that was for that, really? But then I watch the next episode because I really like a lot of HGTV. But anyways, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Could you relate? Do you have the same type of affinity she has for um, reality TV? Or do you notice those same things? Let me know down below. If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below to support Jaden. If you like this video, hug the like on that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.